So this is the first multiple choice problem from the uh, final exam of Physics 106 uh, from 2023-24 academic year. So here uh, we have a conducting spherical shell. Uh, they give you the inner and outer radii and they tell you total charge on this is a Q and they're asking for the electric field for some point outside this shell. Okay. Now, at first sight, it might seem like this is impossible, but there's a very important clue that this is a conducting spherical shell. So this total charge Q is going to actually come to the outer surface and it's going to distribute itself uniformly. Okay? So this is going to become uniform. And once it's uniform, then by Gauss's law, this is going to act like a point, a point charge at its center and the electric field is just going to be, you know, one over four pi epsilon naught Q over R squared. And the electric field, because this positive charge is going to be outward, so to give its direction, we can just put an R hat, and this will be actually uh, choice A. Now, for the second uh, multiple choice problem of the same exam, we have a plate an infinite plate, in fact. A particle of mass M and charge Q is observed to stay motionless above horizontal, very large, uniform charge plate uh, made of a thin insulator as shown in the figure. So we have this time an insulator, but they are telling us the charge distribution is uniform. We have some particle with some charge and mass that's staying above. Uh, they're not telling the distance, but this is irrelevant. What's the surface charge density sigma of the plane for charge Q to remain motionless? Now. The electric field due to this uh, sigma charge distribution is going to be sigma over two epsilon naught. And it's not sigma over epsilon naught. That's because this is an insulating thin shell. So it's going to produce an electric field both in upward direction and also in downward direction. So the total electric field that's coming out in magnitude is going to be sigma over epsilon naught, but only half of it is pointing up and half of it is pointing down. Okay? This can be obtained by Gauss's law and it's done as an example in the book. I'm not going to rewrite this. This is the magnitude of the electric field. Uh, the electric force has to be equal to the gravitational force. The electric force is, of course, sigma Q over two epsilon naught. The gravitational force is M times G, which means that the sigma required is two mg epsilon naught by Q. And this is choice E uh, in, the, in the answer sheet. Okay. 